Good morning, folks. John Ruffin, it's halfway through the night, which is why I look a complete wreck. Um, and I just wanted to tell you that um, Jesus cares for you, regardless of your situation or your circumstance. Jesus is right there wanting and willing to assist you and aid you in your situation. And I make this message particularly um, because the Lord gave me a dream last night. And in it, um, he revealed to me the immense love that he has for womanhood. And um, apparently some U.S. senator has been uh, on confirmation hearings for the Supreme Court and she was asked what is a female and she kind of fumbled it a bit and said well um, in this context I can't really say because I'm not a biologist and I, thought, <laughs> I thought actually it was quite a clever answer because she could have said I can't really say because I'm not a psychologist uh, because now gender is something that is something that is relegated to people's thinking rather than to people's biology um, I thought that was quite amusing and I, I was reading that before I went to sleep so it's probably influencing my dream a little bit and in the dream I realised that God loves womanhood and as a male and as men you guys out there okay our responsibility is to protect womanhood um, and to do that in appropriate ways knowing our boundaries and doing it in selfless love. And I think this is really, really something that, that's my takeaway today as we approach Mothering Sunday tomorrow. It's not Mother's Day, it's Mothering Sunday. And just to say that on Mothering Sunday, we are actually supposed to come back to our mother church. And, you know, the mother church is the bride of Christ. That's what it's all about. That's why it's on a Sunday. Uh, it's not because it's a day off. It's because it's a day in to the welcoming presence, the all-embracing presence of Jesus Christ. And so I invite you mothers. I invite you fathers. I invite you singles. I invite you bereaved people whatever circumstance you find yourself in loneliness, in pain, in suffering, and I'm speaking now especially to women folk out there. God loves you unconditionally. And I pray that there will be men that will stand up in the gap for womanhood and defend womanhood as it's defined biblically, not why it's defined by our modern society, and to nurture and care and provide and protect um, the young women and girls and, and there's such abomination going on in the world today as believers. I believe it's one of our primary duties to offer that protection to the most vulnerable and women are very often very, very vulnerable. So it's a message of love, and care and compassion in appropriate ways only to the women and the friends, those who I don't even know who are listening to my channel and watching my channel. God bless you. And I'm going to make a prayer for you before I close right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of womanhood. I thank you, Father, for the women who are watching and listening and for the men who are watching and listening today who have been tasked with nurturing and loving those who are within their circle of influence. And we pray, Father God, for those who are suffering bereavement, who are suffering pain, emotional pain in particular, as well as physical pain, those who are suffering uh, because of loneliness, Lord, because of vulnerability, because of past abuse, um, and even those who are suffering from abuse at this very moment. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'd intervene by the power of your Holy Spirit through the blood of Jesus Christ 
And I break the spirit of fear in Jesus' name over your life. I break the spirit of confusion, of worthlessness over your life in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father, that you would restore in each one of us the image of your son, Jesus Christ. And I pray, Lord God, that women, uh, that you listening and watching today might be able to, with open heart, call upon God as Father, aware that that image of fatherhood has been marked very often through historic situations in your life. I pray healing, deliverance, blessing, and the nurture of the Holy Spirit to come upon you today, right now. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive the infilling love of Jesus and let go of the past. Let go of the past. I know it's not easy, but just right now, let go. Give it into God's hands. Give it to God, that pain, that suffering. Offer it to Jesus. He cares for you and he loves you this weekend where we celebrate Mother and Sunday, a return to the church. A return to the church, return to the fold of Jesus Christ. Some of you guys not been to a church building or church service since before COVID, get over to your local church and uh, be blessed and know that God is with you and blessing you. And um, I'm so thankful for you watching today. This is John Ruffle. Please comment, please share this video. There's people that need this encouragement, that need to know that they are loved, that they are affirmed, that they are nurtured, and there's nothing to be ashamed of to come to the cross of Jesus and say, Lord, come to me. And I'm going to close by saying, find a Catholic church and go and sit in the stillness of that church building. And if you can find a good Catholic priest, go and talk to him and share with him. There's many, many heard all about the abusive priests, but um, I can take you to Catholic priests who are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful listeners and counselors, and they have that anointing of God to affirm the forgiveness of sin that Jesus has already secured for you upon the cross of Calvary. Thanks so much. God bless you. Have a blessed, free weekend, free from the chains of fear and bondage. In Jesus' name. So John Ruffin, it's Saturday, the 26th of March, 2022. Very early in the morning, I just climbed out of bed, had a lovely dream, and I want to give you that impartation today. In Jesus' name.